Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am doing a new video on the Sims resource. I've seen a lot of questions of, about this site for a long time and thought that maybe I could answer some of your questions. I've had a membership with them for many years starting back with the Sims 3 and it just takes away all the ads and all the delays that it slows you down when you're trying to find some nice custom content from the sims resource and they have a ton of it and you can filter they have sims they have pets lots i'm not sure what the, they consider mods because i've never looked they got poses i didn't realize they had poses i'm not a big pose person but they have backgrounds for your your cast screen um that looks like a pose so anyway as you can see they have 38 pages of of um, mods but you can, what I usually do is I go in here and I'll go to sets and, and then I'll filter down to whatever objects I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for clothing, clothing, hair, shoes, whatever, um, or accessories. I like going into accessories because I look for the nails, the, um, that are real pretty. And you can filter these to show featured artists or whatever, retired submitter, whatever the case may be. You can limit it to anything this year or anything that's even upcoming. I usually don't change this. I usually leave it to show all and then I'll fill, I'll hit show results. And this number here doesn't change. And say I'm looking for nails. So I'm going to type in the search box nails. And this is what it brings up. And the thing to remember about Anything you're downloading on here, there's options. You can download each item individually. You can download them and install with the, the CC Manager, and I've never really used that much, so I'm not real familiar with that. Or you can add it to the basket, and this is the advantage of having a membership, is you can add it to the basket. And the basket's located up here, and every time you put an item in there, it, it tallies it up. And once you hit 199 items, you cannot put anything else in the basket. It's time to download that basket. So, and there's not a lot of different nails here, but I like some of them. So I'm going to put them in my basket. And then we'll move on to something else. And this way you can, if you're wanting to look just strictly for clothing or hairs and you want to separate them, then what I would recommend is that you select all the hairs you want and then download that basket because it opens up into a folder just like this. And then you can just unzip it. I usually right click and then I'll go to extract and that way the basket's named. And then when you open it, all of your stuff is there and you can drag it into your mods folder if you want to. Or you can, like I said, you can rename it. This was just a mishmash of stuff. So I'm just going to call it um, TSRCC. And that way I can just, that, that way I know where it's at. I'm going to right click and I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to go into my university, university, <laughs> my electronic arts folder. And go into mods and then just hit paste. And there it is. And that's that. Now, like I said, you can, you can filter, you can. Uh, oh, there are themes here. I always forget about this because I never use it. But say you're looking for a specific, like a Victorian themed item. And you can just click on that and then it'll filter out filter out all those. And this is what you get. And they, they have lots. And they have mods. Usually the mods, I just looked and they're usually pose packs. Or um, what was the other one? I'm trying to remember. I'll just go to it and show you. Click up here. Mods are down here. So they have poses. Oh, just cast backgrounds. And there's 38 pages of mods. And I've never really looked at them much. Uh, no particular reason. I like mods. I'm not a big fan of poses. Nothing wrong with them. It's just my preference. So let's see. There's a Christmas Gothic theme background. And then this is a puffy body cast presets. I'm gonna look at this. Never see, like I said, I've never looked at this, but I like presets. 
let's just go in for a more curvy sim. And all you would do is you would just add to basket. And then it's going to show up in here. And if you want to see what's in your basket, you just click on this down arrow. And it shows everything you've put in here so far. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back. Okay. I'm going to go back to, and you can look at featured creations. And these are just artists that are, are featured. That For whatever reason, I'm not sure what the criteria or the category is to get featured. But like this is a cute nightgown. And I don't think there's enough nightgowns or nightwear in the game myself. So I'm going to plop that in. That's a cute little transparent skirt. And I can't ever have too much makeup. Don't ask me why. I'm not, I wear a little bit every day when I go to work. But other than that, I'm just not big on. Don't get me wrong, my Sims all wear makeup. That's cute. I add that. See, this is what I, this is what happens. I get in here and I start plopping all kinds of things. And if you look, there are 2,013 pages of items. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then there's the little denim skirt. You can't have too much toddler clothes. And we don't have enough. So we'll click on the arrow to go to the next page. And it's just like, a, this is just featured creations and it's pretty much everything. Like, this is a sim. You can download this sim. And the thing to remember about sims is they don't go in your mods folder. They go in the tray folder. Oops, I went too fast. Let's see. And she's got custom content on. And I don't know. I'm going to add her to my basket and see how she downloads. Because I don't know if she comes with the custom content or not. Oh, <laughs> pigtails. Okay, I like this lipstick. There's a ton of stuff I like. This is the problem. Like, I think this is really cute. See, it says island living needed. to Make sure you notice things like that. Okay. There's some scars. What I think I need, and I'm not going to do it right now, but what I think I need is some more elder supplies. Supplies, clothing, and... Things that are appropriate for elders. I just don't see many elders wearing mini skirts and tank tops. I could be wrong, but, you know, Mississippi tent does tend to be a little bit more reserved. Would that be appropriate to say? <laughs> anyway, I like this skirt. See, this is my problem. See, there is, a, I think I may have told you, there is a limit to how much you can put in your basket. 199 items. And each item, I don't know exactly how they're counted. Didn't I not click on this? I did. Okay, that's cute. We're going to throw that in here. Okay, that's going to be enough for now. I want to see how she downloads because she had a lot of custom content on. So we're going to download Zip. And then you just start download, and it's going to show up down on the, the bottom right there. See, I already did one. And then it, it tells you how long it'll take. And then we'll just remove all. Once it starts downloading, you can remove everything from the basket. That way, if you want to start over and looking at others to see this is a home, then you can do that. I've never downloaded any homes from here. I don't have any particular reason. Other than, I just never have. I want to see what happens if I put this in my basket. It shows one item. So, all the stuff that goes with it. Okay. Well, I didn't want that to come back open. Alright, let's see. I know, I know. Continue. I hate it when it does that. Oh. I just downloaded that house. No. Oh, yes, I did. See, here it is. Let's, let's extract. Show output folder. It went into my Wicked Whims folder, which is not where I wanted it. Oh, okay, to filter it out, I can look at everything that I downloaded today. 
This is everything. Now, you see this items here. This here. This, and you're going to want all of these. Okay, then you're going to right click, cut, and then we're going to go back. We're in the, okay. We're going to go, let's just go up here. We're going to go to the tray and then paste. And that way you put your sim that you downloaded in the game. Okay. And then the rest of the stuff, where did the rest of the stuff go? It's here somewhere. Downloads. Right click. Extract here. I know you're driving me nuts. I'm going to have to buy you just so you'll shut up. Continue to use the demo. All right, here it is. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to take these items out. And then we're going to select all, right click, cut. And then we're going to put them in our, and it really doesn't matter which one. If you want it in the same game, these are all, no, this is probably not the best one to use. Let me go to this one. Paste. There they are. Okay. That is all, but that's one of the reasons I like the Sims resource. And just so you know, this is not sponsored by them. I just thought I would give kind of a short tutorial and let y'all know how it works and see if you like it and let me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. I'm going to start doing a little bit more of this. I'm going to start trying to do some build videos, even though I'm not a big not not really good at building, but I'm going to work on that, okay? But if you like this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Don't forget the subscribe button. It'll let you know every time I upload a video. And leave me some comments and suggestions of what you might would like to see me do in the comment section down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.